Last night, I caught her doing emergency prepping, so I decided to make Doomsday come a little early. Kristen! Kristen, look. This is not a test. The United States has been subjected to a nuclear attack. Whoa, what are you doing? We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! Wait, we have to wait for instructions. Here are your instructions. Put down the bag. My dogs found a bone in our backyard. Gross. I needed some help figuring out what type of bone this was. So I grabbed it and asked my neighbor Dave for his advice. He wasn't sure, but he said the area behind our house used to be a cow pasture. The next day I went to go dig some more and discovered the hole had tripled in size. And when I went to check the security footage, this is what I saw. Go here right now to see what happens next. I spent over a thousand dollars turning my garage into a haunted house. All to scare the one kid in our neighborhood. First I put up plastic. Then came all the spooky supplies. Like a bunch of animatronics, strobe lights, and spider web. I set up hidden cameras all around the room. And even had a decoy. Once it was complete, I did a walkthrough and this place was terrifying. But just then, the neighbor kid arrived and it was time to take our places. Go here right now to see if he makes it. Last night, she told me not to wake her up unless it's an emergency. So this morning, I decided to create one. Hey, baby, where's PJ? Did you leave her outside? PJ? I'm so sorry. I didn't want you to leave her outside. What did you do? <laughs> so I love a good challenge. And that was not it. This is a little harder. But still too easy. Now this is going to be tricky. Oh, nailed it. Okay, I've never done five. Don't worry, man, you got this. But before I break my record, I challenge you to beat me in a game. You gotta go to my page and download Mob Control. Where you can play me heads up. I'm gonna be playing random people every day for the next seven days straight. And I don't lose. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah. Babe. Huh? Impressions challenge. Okay. Harley Quinn. Nothing comes between me and Mr. J. Lilo and Stitch. A Hanuman's family. Crocodile Hunter. Boy, cry. Maid Marion. Ew, Robin, I'm so happy. Ariana Grande. Hey. Britney Spears. I think I did it again. Gollum. Stupid hobbitses. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh boy. Lois from Family Guy. It seems today that all you see is violence and movies and sex on TV. Oh, nailed So my dogs did something naughty. <laughs> I was just hanging out when the doorbell rang. And when I went to check it out, there was a random package sitting on my front porch. So I brought it in and asked Penny if she did this, and she said, Wasn't me. Okay. When I opened it up, there was a little toy plushie inside. Which sounds exactly like something the puppy would want. Hey? And when I went to see what she was doing, I was surprised to find that she downloaded the app Claw -E, Which lets you play real life claw machines for actual prizes. Oh, I'm so gonna get this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't drop it, don't drop it. I won! <laughs> you wanna see what I got? It's a burrito blanket! I want it! Before she left town, she told me not to get in any trouble. So, I gave her access to our security cameras. Where is Robbie? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> this was a prank? Yes. Emotional death! It all started from this comment on one of our videos. Followed by this creeper outside our house. I ran outside to confront him. Hey! But as soon as he saw me, he took off. But sure enough, he was back for a third day in a row. And looking for a showdown. Except this time I had some backup. To help scare off this clown once and for all. What do you want? Dude, that's not your real voice. Like, subscribe, Bartis! Seriously, what are you doing? Dakota sent me pranks. You know, you like pranks? In my last video, I tricked her into thinking I was a woman. <laughs> and to sell the prank, I was wearing these. I practiced for over an hour, starting on carpet. And once I got that down, I moved to hardwood floors. <laughs> I don't know how y'all do this, but respect. So Kristen keeps killing her plants. 
And the dogs are helping her do it. She just keeps trying and trying and failing. Yeah. But when I offered to help, she refused. So I had a brilliant new idea. Make her jealous of my growing ability. But little did she know that I'm just as bad. <laughs> and got all my help from the Neverland app. Where you can search any plant you want. Do reference comparisons. Uh -huh. And even look up plant guides to get advice about food and soil. Did I mention that you could buy any plant you want? And the best part is the plant shell event happening this weekend. Oh man, she has no idea. Oh! So you won't believe where we are. Yo! Where'd you go? We're at Epcot. For a sneak peek at the new ride, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Welcome, Terrence. Got to meet these guys. And even had a dance-off to save the galaxy. But Gamora wasn't feeling it. Then later that night, we finally got to see the attraction. Oh! Starting with the Galaxarium. This sweet model of Xandar. And even the Milano. Nova Prime's head exploded. Got a look at the Cosmic Generator. And even got attacked by a Celestial. But the best part by far was the ride itself. Which is an absolute game changer. Hey! Here we go. So lately, Kristen's been balling out of control, dropping money on the ground like it's nothing. Uh, I had to get to the bottom of this, and I noticed that her phone was literally printing money. Huh? And as soon as she was done, I waited for my chance to go over and take a look at her phone. And discovered that she downloaded the Blitz app and was winning money playing bingo? So I gave it a shot and was off to a slow start. But as soon as I started catching fire, the phone was taken away from me. My turn and that's bingo. <laughs> what the heck, man? Give it back. Let me see this. Wait, you actually- What the- Yeah, boy. Yesterday, she wanted to break out the Halloween costumes, but the dogs were not feeling it. Nope, I don't want to do that. Too bad. Then, something terrifying happened. Right, little cowgirl, you're gonna be the cutest little- Whoa! Are you seeing this? Look, 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 look. Go here to see the full video. <coughs> what?! I didn't do it. I actually just ate a regular... Right now, I am worried. Cold weather is coming, and I don't want to get sick. Nope. So I decided to barricade myself inside of a glass cage. Kristen came in confused, but I asked her to go to the store. And she was on it in a hurry. When she arrived at Rite Aid, I politely asked her to grab immune gummies and elderberry. Also get something for sleep and zinc. That'll do it. On my way. She burst through the door with enthusiasm. Whatever it takes to get the baby out of the bubble. <laughs> so sometimes Fruit Ninja doesn't always work out the way I want it to. And that's frustrating. But to be honest with you, smashing fruit is pretty satisfying. And the bigger the fruit, the bigger the mess. Whoa, 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 wait, hold on, man. There's gotta be a better way. That's why I downloaded Bucket Crusher, which is this super satisfying game that lets you just go ham on some buildings. Pro tip, upgrade your fuel power and size. And you'll be mashing those things like a champ. Okay, but should I still smash it? Yeah. <laughs> this happened at... I popped right out of bed. Quickly got ready. Then made a stop at the TikTok lounge. No money, don't jiggle, jiggle. And guess who I ran into? Great question I would love to tell you. You honestly don't, because you're amazing. Next, I met Savannah Moss, queen of the twirl. And she gave me my own private spin lesson. Not gonna lie, I was nervous. But we both nailed it. And not really. She even helped me up. Then Kristen and I had a dance-off. I lost. Saw an interview. And actually did an interview of my own. Yeah! Last but not least, went to TikTok's house party. Just look at this dance floor. What? Met my entire For You page. Oh, there was even a Mr. Beast sighting. Which was so cool. And at the end of the trip, Babe, babe, babe. Huh? I'll give you $100 if you eat one of these pieces of gum. Ooh, I'm not doing it. 200 Right now? Now, do it. Okay, I'll do it. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Bad idea. So we're about to buy a house. And I'm gonna let you pick it. What? Last round, you chose house number two. And it wasn't even close. Now let's get ready. Because it's time for the final round. House one is 3,000 square feet. Four bedrooms. Three nice bathrooms. Hi. A massive closet. And a big backyard. House number two is 2,400 square feet. Has four bedrooms. Two and a half elite baths. Gadgets. And an epic living room. Check it out. Now here's some things I don't like. House one has low ceilings. Sits next to a busy road. Was clearly lived in. And has a few smells. Eee. House two has a small backyard. Is missing a few appliances. And has this behind the house. Now it's time for you to vote. And... So Kristen got mad and left me. What? So I flew to LA with a master plan. And got a hotel room right next to her. I was able to find her inside the park. Doing a silly little dance. But almost got caught in the process. In order for this plan to work, she could not see me. Nope. But I somehow made it back completely undetected. Oh. The next day, I had a big surprise. This fancy dress. Along with an invite to a special event. Boop. I asked the front desk if they could anonymously drop it off to her room. And sure enough, mission accomplished. Now it was time to quietly go back and get ready. But before I could, 
There was someone outside my door. Robbie? Go here right now to see what happens. People keep stealing our packages. So I'm gonna build a spring-loaded glitter trap. I started by cutting circles and plexiglass. Then glued a spring in between them. So when they open it up, they get a face full of glitter. The last steps were to install a hidden camera and load it up. Now we were good to go. I took my little science project and gently placed it on the front porch. Then set up a hidden camera. And about a half an hour later, he was back and was in for a surprise. Go here to see the end. Our puppy is still a monster. Ah! Puppy crazy. She's hardly a puppy. More like a crazy teen that still fights with Penny and steals her toys. Yep. There are definitely sweet moments, but then it's right back to Cray. She's even pulling some genius level escape moves, like turning this slinky into a spring for the gate. Truly mind-blowing. Oh, and remember the couch that she destroyed? Because I do. Since going underneath it is no longer an option, she's decided to destroy something more accessible. Ooh, Robbie's getting angry. But today there was a new development in her abilities. Getting on top of the counter. No, 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 no. How is she doing that? So I set up a camera to see if I could catch her in the act. Like and follow for part two. So we thought our house was haunted, but maybe it's gone. It's not gone. Wait, wait, wait. It's not? Nope, I see it. Well, we haven't seen it lately because we've been too busy filming and, of course, getting engaged. But yesterday, when we were on our way to the store, I got a notification from our security camera. At first, I thought it was Penny until I saw this. Now I've got to go back and look through all the old surveillance footage to see what I might find. Like and follow for part two. So I'm attempting an impossible card throw. Okay, calm down. It's tough because the skin is hard. After several attempts, I almost got You gotta be kidding me. But after cleaning up, I realized that these cards are trash. But where did they come from? Well, let me show you. I caught my dogs playing an intense game of gin rummy. What the heck? So I stopped the game and scooped up the cards. Which they didn't need because I've got something better. You just go to my page and download Rummy Star, Where you can challenge me to play heads up. Me. But now back to the dogs. Ooh, that a kid. How about Penny going in for the gin and the win? It's so fun, I forgot about this watermelon. Ho -ho! Wait, 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 wait. Did that just happen? So Kristen is really sick. Sad face. The last time this happened, I ran around and grabbed a bunch of stuff I didn't need. Which turned out to be a bad idea. Uh -huh. But this time around, I'll let her do the shopping. That way, she can pick up exactly what she needs. Thanks to Rite Aid's super convenient buy online pickup and store service. And while she's doing that, uh -oh. I can beeline it to the car. And head straight to my favorite store. All I do now is park in the special spot and wait for my curbside delivery. It's that easy. Then rip home to deliver the goods like a total hero. So I think my dogs are plotting against me. Uh, I'm not. You expect me to believe that? Prove it. Gladly. I set up this picture. Which Penny knocked down. And PJ tore to shreds. Then I set up a second picture. To see if they'll target Kristen. And lo and behold, they just went after me again. Yeah. Now I had definitive proof that these two were targeting me. And even worse was my missing keys and wallet. Which I'm certain that they took. But just then I thought of a way to find my stuff. I placed my favorite hat on our coffee table. Then set up a camera to hopefully see if and where they take it. Yeah. And about five minutes later, Penny was going after the hat. Go here right now to see what happened. So my fiancé left me. You idiot. What'd you do? Well, she decided to go stay at a hotel because I thought it'd be funny to ruin our engagement photos. It's still pretty funny. But I had to get her back. So I grabbed a scooter and went on a mission all over town looking for the perfect gift. Nothing says I'm sorry like a giant teddy bear. Yoink. Now I just had to walk this guy all the way to her hotel. And this is what happened. Hello. Hello. My fiancé's mad at me. She's staying here, but I don't know what room she's in. I kind of ruined our engagement photos. Oh my goodness, what, what exactly is going on now? It's more like a pregnancy announcement. <laughs> like and follow for part two. So Kristen and I got in a huge fight. <sighs> all because she wanted me to wear this Easter Bunny costume. And I said, nope. So instead I chose this one. While she was setting up for the photo shoot, I was upstairs getting ready. <laughs> now it was finally time to go. And her reaction was definitely not what I expected. Happy Easter. <laughs> That's not even funny. You wanted the Easter Bunny? You got it. Let's take these pictures. You know what? I can't do this anymore. What? I'm out. Are Where you are you leaving? going? I'm leaving town. I'm done. I need to get away from you guys. What? <laughs> So we thought we were done with our house being haunted. Done with all the crazy things that kept happening to us. It's not done. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that. Especially after seeing this video surveillance footage from last week. After that, I had to check the tape to see what else we had missed. Searching hours of surveillance footage. Wake up, dummy! Huh? What? Until finally, I found something super crazy. Just watch. Like and follow for part three. So by now I know everybody's seen me do Fruit Ninja. Maybe too much Fruit Ninja. I've even taken you behind the scenes to show you how we did it. But today I'm gonna try to be a real ninja. And after a couple of tries and a little bit of anger, I finally nailed it. <laughs> do you know what today is? Come on, let me show you. It's Star Wars Day. And we're at Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> After running around the town and getting pointed at by this guy. Hey, what's the problem, buddy? Kristen decided to test my patience. Hey, babe, babe. Huh? If you wear this mask all day, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I don't want to do that. How about two hundred? Uh... And let's just say a bet is a bet. And I don't lose.
So my fiance left me. You're an idiot. Yeah, I know. I tried taking a giant teddy bear to the hotel she was staying at, but she decided she wanted nothing to do with it and marched it straight to the garbage can. Now it was time to call plan B. Can you come over? Yes, absolutely. Once my backup plan arrived, I sent her a text convincing her to come home. And she did. What are you guys doing? It's a surprise. Go upstairs and change it into something nice. Now, go, go, come And while she was upstairs getting ready, I had to make sure and look my best for what we were about to do next. Here we go. Hey, you ready? Ready for what? Don't worry about it. Where are we going? You'll see. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Okay, you ready? Like and follow for part five. I can't believe Kristen left me. What for? Uh, I don't know. I found out that she went to LA. And in a desperate attempt to get her back, I arrived at her destination. I asked the front desk if I could get a room next to hers. Yeah, of course. And once I got settled, I checked her status. Which said she was right outside my door. She's on the move. I grabbed my new camera glasses and headed out. Once inside the park, I was able to get a read on her location. And discovered her doing a dance? Then she made her way to the other side of the park. I turned on the camera and got super close. Yikes. And then this happened. Okay, I just got off the ride and I think... Oh, there she is. There she is. Ready? So we've got to get out of our house now and get into our new home. But why now? Because we're afraid that our ghost will follow us. Yeah. It already made one attempt to hitch a ride in some of our boxes through a tennis ball. For real? The next day, I was in hurry up and get out mode. But as I was clearing out cabinets, I came across something that I really wish I hadn't found. Oh, God. If you don't remember, I found this creepy item in my attic last year. And things were never the same. So it was not coming with us. Nope. The only thing left now to do was destroy it. But it didn't like that. So our puppy just ran away. Mm. Good riddance. Don't say that. She is crazy. A troublemaker. Mm. And now apparently an escape artist. Penny, did you help her? I went upstairs for about 30 seconds. And when I came back down, she was gone. No, 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 This has always been one of my worst nightmares. Because she could be anywhere. I tore through the neighborhood. PJ! Hoping she doesn't go into the street. After about 30 minutes, I was exhausted. But then I had an idea. I rushed home to my computer. And immediately started working on a flyer. As soon as they were done printing, I grabbed him and ripped through the neighborhood, putting him everywhere I could find. And about 10 minutes later, my phone rang. Hello? Hey, are you the guy that lost the dog? <laughs> So like bozos, we lost our puppy. Mm. Once I saw that door open, I knew PJ was gone. I scoured the neighborhood. PJ! I even printed up flyers. But about 30 minutes into my search, I got a phone call. Hey, are you the guy that lost the dog? Yeah, yeah, Well, I've got him. I'll be right there. But as soon as I got there, he explained that she escaped and went around the corner. I knew this was going to be the closest that I got to finding her. And as soon as I got down there, there she was. PJ! 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> I got you! Oh. So I think my fiance is preggers. Huh? Boy or girl? I don't know. What I do know is I heard her talking about a gender reveal cannon. Gender reveal cannon? We're gonna be doing the reveal this weekend and I promise it's gonna make sense. The next day, the gender reveal cannon arrived at our front door. And since I'm super impatient, I decided to open it. Hey! Okay, okay. When reveal day came, the weather was crazy. But we were still gonna do it. Do I seriously have to wear this? Yeah. She made me get blindfolded and walk my happy butt out in the cold. And this is what happened. Is this the right way? I think so. Okay, one, two, three. Go here right now to see the end. Today is Penny's 60th birthday. Well, in dog years. I'm an old lady. You are. And we're gonna celebrate. On my way to the store. I saw that Rite Aid was having a massive sale. Let's go. I arrived and was on a mission. And noticed it was Rite Aid's 60th birthday as well? No way. I got right to work grabbing party supplies. This is perfect. Here's a present. Some snackies. Wait, they're giving away 60,000 bonus points each week? Time to get more stuff. Vitamins? Yep. Buy one, get one half off? Yep. You know it. I need a shave. That's done. Wait, what's that smell? Oh, it's me. Solution. Time to head home and prep for Penny's party. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And I got something for you too. Thank you. Right, eh? So my fiance left me for ruining our engagement photos. <laughs> Fix it. I'm trying. I called in a friend to Can help. Can you come over? Yes, absolutely. And convinced her to come back so I could surprise her with this. What are you guys doing? It's a surprise. Go upstairs and change it into something nice. Hey, you ready? Ready for what? Don't worry about it. Where are we going? You'll see. Okay, you ready? Oh my god, what are we doing? I'm freezing. Because I ruined our engagement photos, I brought Les here uh -huh. so that he can take nice ones of us. <laughs> All is forgiven. I need somebody who can love me and my friends. My fiance left town for a week, and I'm gonna mess with her so flippin' hard. Boom! I blocked her account so she couldn't see this. Nobody's spoiling it. So one of her biggest fears is getting canceled, which gave me a straight diabolical prank idea. I was gonna sit down and make up a lovely story about us smuggling puppies. Okay, this is next level crazy. Let me just add a logo for authenticity, and of course gotta put in some pics to make it look legit. Oh my god. Now just write up a brief article, hit export, and this is what we got. Last thing to do is just send her the article. And within seconds, she called me. What the hell is going on? Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this. I'm getting on a plane, I'm heading to you tonight. I gotta go, I gotta go. Does anybody else have to deal with this problem? <laughs> Every day it's up, down, take, and reset. Up, down, take, and reset. <laughs>
Would you cut it out? Huh? I'm getting real tired of this never-ending game. Take that. Oh, I wish that they could just download Collect Them All, which is a super fun puzzle game that also deals with bright colored ornaments. And of course, while I'm over here winning, yeah. Penny's still going to town on the other ornaments. Give me that. And here we go again. The cycle continues. I'm planning a secret wedding. And she has no idea. Shh. I blocked her so she couldn't see this. Then I began to brainstorm. My options were a church. Yeah, I don't think so. Las Vegas or Disneyland. Which she adores. Tough choice. But only 15 minutes into my research, I almost got caught. Are you planning a Disney trip? That's your Christmas present. Ah! That's spoiled. So Merry Christmas. Now I had to buy the Disney trip as a decoy. Yay. The next day, I started researching Vegas. Keeping an eye out so I didn't get caught. We're good. But this time, my search was interrupted by a phone call from my mom. Hello? We need to talk. Uh... Spooky season is over. Oh well, it's time to put away the Halloween decorations. Which makes us all sad. But then I caught Kristen pulling out the Christmas stuff. And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. And she said, it's November 1st and we're officially allowed to talk about Christmas. And I said, nope, put it back. I'm going to the store for Thanksgiving. Deuces! And I headed to my favorite store. But even they had the Christmas stuff out. Not today. I'm here to find Thanksgiving themed things. And stuff that'll get everybody in the holiday spirit. This is more my speed. Now that decor is what I'm talking about. And one last thing to keep us warm. Alright, I'm home. Who's ready for Thanksgiving? For real? I think I'm about to end my engagement. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 just hear me out. A few months ago, I was planning a secret wedding in Las Vegas. But the surprise was ruined. Mostly from people in her comment section. Not cool. You know who you are. What the hell? The original ring I bought her wasn't bad. But I was on a budget when I bought it. So the plan was to get a new ring and repropose. Which means I had to break our engagement. I set up some hidden cameras to catch her reaction. And it wasn't good. Hey. hey. Have you seen my ring? Yep, I took it. Why? I don't want to be engaged anymore. Okay, no problem. Wait. What? Like and follow for part two. Because... So I took back my fiance's engagement ring. I'm telling. Whoa now, pump the brakes. The first ring I got was Chme. And it was time for an upgrade. But in order to sell the surprise, I had to tell her that we were breaking up. Have you seen my ring? Yep, I took it. Why? I don't want to be engaged anymore. Okay, no problem. Wait. What? Was it just me or was she weirdly cool about that? What? The next day I headed out to go ring shopping and almost immediately I found the perfect one. She loves blue. I got that thing gift wrapped and walked out of there an absolute champion. But what I came home to shocked me. Hi. Hi. Are you leaving? Yep. <laughs> So I took my fiance's engagement ring. You idiot. Yeah. And then I told her that I don't want to be engaged anymore. And she said, no problem. Brrr. All this deception was so I could surprise her with a new ring. But when I got home, I found her packing a bag. Are you leaving? Yep. Day for New Year's Eve. That's all I ask, okay? Whatever. Whoa, that was close. But now I got to figure out how to give this to her. When a package from TikTok arrives? Oh, I think I know what this is. And it's the perfect way to give her the ring. I'm going to stuff this down into the center of the cake and let her cut into it. I got a surprise for you. You have to close your eyes. Open it. Yeah, cut into it. Okay, you ready? Go here right now to see the end. So I think we found Bigfoot. Huh? That's Cap. Your Cap. After hiking miles into our remote destination, we took a ride on the paddleboard and immediately had a rock thrown at us. What? And the first night, we heard some crazy noises outside. When I went to check the tape, I saw either Bigfoot or some lunatic in a costume. Either way, it wasn't good. Just to be safe, I had to test our defenses. And that bear mace is no joke. <laughs> on night two, it was back, and this is what happened. Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> Something was just thrown out the tent. I'm gonna grab the spare mace and go after it. Go okay. Uh, go here right now to see the. Uh, what? So the first time I heard Penny speak <coughs> was shocking. <coughs> it's just a bird. Take it. <coughs> There's a bird outside. Oh my god, guys. PJ is actually speaking words, like English words. I'm gonna show you. PJ! Where you at, Captain Poop J? Oh, hey. What up? In honor of Pudgy, let me get an Awa Awa. Ah! So my family is a bunch of frozen weenies. Pshh, we're cold. Yeah, all the time. In Oregon, it rains a lot. And it's usually pretty gloomy. But every day I ask Penny if she wants to go for a walk. And she was like, It's raining like cats and dogs. And I was like, so what? It's just a little rain. And then she said, Okay, I'll go. Okay, great. All I had left to do was put in my shoes and I was ready to go. Unlike most people, I freaking love the rain. Especially when I'm rocking my waterproof vessies. The rest of my clothes, not so much. But <laughs> my shoes are dry. Boom, shocker. So my fiance left me after I ruined our engagement photos. You idiot. Yeah, I know. Now I was on a mission to make it up to her. Cruising all over town to buy the biggest teddy bear I could find. So that I could surprise her with it at the hotel she was staying at. My fiance's mad at me. I ruined our engagement photos. Oh my goodness. It's more like a pregnancy announcement. <laughs> could you please send that up to her room? Absolutely. Thank you Thank so much. You. Now I was just going to wait outside the hotel to make sure she got the package. Oh god, there she is. As soon as she grabbed the bear, she started heading right toward me. I ducked behind a bush and this is what happened. Where the hell is she going? Like and follow for part three.
So I followed my fiance to LA. Huh. You did? Yep. Like a creep, I flew down there searching for her. But didn't have much luck until I found her location on one of her TikTok videos. When I saw that, I rushed down there as fast as I could. But once I arrived, I was already too late. Uh -huh. So I decided to go back to the hotel and give up. But the next day when I was packing, I noticed another TikTok video that she posted. Except this one had some footage of an address label. I knew that I could take that footage, throw it into my computer, get an address, <gasps> and go after him. Which is exactly what I ended up doing. Watch. What the hell is this? Like and follow for part six. So I think somebody's watching us. Uh, this sucks. Yes, it does. It started with this comment on one of our videos. Huh? Penny and I spent hours looking out the window until we saw this guy. Oh my god, he saw me. When I took another look, he was heading straight for my front door. I grabbed some protection and went to check it out. But by the time I got there, he was already rounding the corner. The next day, he was back. And I ran downstairs to put an end to this. Hey! As soon as I yelled at him, he started walking away. Yeah, that's what I thought. But sure enough, he was back for a third day in a row. This time around, I had my friend Lester, who's a pretty big dude, to help me scare off this clown once and for all. Go here right now to see the end. So our puppy is a genius. Ah! She's not a puppy. You're right. She's more like a teenager. But either way, she's pulling off some genius level maneuvers. Like using a slinky as a doorstop. And now getting on top of the counter. Which doesn't sound that impressive. Until you consider that she can't even jump on the bed. What? So I set up a camera. And a couple hours later, she was up there again. And after a quick rescue. Get over here. I immediately went to check the tape. I thought for sure she was going to use the chair. Instead, she's just freestyling it over there in the corner. All for a half-eaten bowl of dog food. Which still doesn't make sense because she can't climb the bed either. So I rechecked the tape and I couldn't believe what I saw. Like and follow for part three. Today's a big day. Kristen and I are getting vaccinated. Get it done. Did you not just hear what I said? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm on my way to my destination. And right when I walked in, I knew I was in the right place. Greeted by this friendly guy. Hello, sir. And I'm not gonna lie. The closer I got, I began to get a little nervous. Mainly because I'm scared of needles. But what happens in this room is important to all of us. Time to get it done. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Wait. It's over? <laughs> So Penny Jr. is a monster. Ah! It's not fair. I know. She keeps making her way up onto the counter. Over and over. So I set up a camera facing the kitchen to see how she was doing it. And the first clip appears to show her freestyling it on the side of the dishwasher. But upon further review, I noticed that her method involves some genius level problem solving. Oh my god. And sure enough, when I went to go check the kitchen, there it was. Unbelievable. So I had to put the puppy on a brief timeout. But when I came back 20 minutes later, this happened. PJ, it's time to come out. Where the hell did you go? What? Go here right now to see the end. My dog is trash at math. Shake him ahead. Not trash. Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. What is two plus two? Five. Uh, no. Yep. Okay, let's try another one. Four plus four is... Five. Oh, not good. But then I remembered that I downloaded the game Bubble Buster, which is not only super fun, but would be perfect for teaching Penny math. Okay, two plus two equals... Four. Good girl. Four plus four equals... Eight. Yeah! All right, now let's just throw a sick combo and finish it for the win. Yes! We are the champions. So I Achoo. think I might be getting sick and need to run as fast as I can to get ahead of it before it catches me. On my way out the door, I scheduled a flu shot at my favorite store. Hey, hey that rhyme. I busted in there like a man on a mission, scoping the place until I finally found my destination. I was able to get it done quick. Good to go. And was back home in no time. And fully protected for the holiday. <laughs> babe, babe, babe. Huh? Impression challenge. Encanto edition. Okay. Peppa. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Felix. No clouds allowed in the sky. Mirabelle. Drawers. Floors. Doors, let's go! The Lotus! I associate him with the sound of falling scent. Isabella! He told me that the life of my dream. Abuela! We swear to always help those around us. Louisa! I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. <laughs> I'm as tough as the crust of the earth. Oh, <laughs> perfect! Penny is not eating. And I'm really worried. I'm not. Why? I've been giving her the same dry food for years. And lately she is not having it. The only thing that excites her is people food. Which we try not to give her. I've literally bought every single bag of dog food. And at one point even called the vet. Who said. Have you tried asking her? Okay. Penny, do you like dry dog food? Nope. Okay, it's time to search for a solution. And I may have found one that uses human grade food. Really? A few days later I got a huge box from the farmer's dog. And the food had Penny's name on it. There's only one way to find out if it's human grade. And I gotta say, not bad. But it still has to pass the Penny test. You ready? Yep. Alright, here you go. No, 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 no. Go here to save 60 percent off it's spooky season and our house is haunted it started up again with these bells but got worse when i found this thing in the attic at one point a dog halloween costume started standing on its own which happened to be below the item then the item tried to yeet itself from existence no, no. after putting out that situation i decided enough was enough and it was finally time to throw this thing away we finished with our dog costume party featuring penny wise and georgie but right when we were cleaning up this happened Okay. 
So I'm about to face my biggest fear. Yikes. Afraid of what? I am terrified of heights. Nope. And I'm going to conquer that fear by going skydiving. Well, indoor skydiving. But that didn't mean I still wasn't nervous. Help. And after watching everybody else while waiting for my turn, I got even more scared and tried to bounce. I don't want to do this. No, it'll be fun. Nope. Baby, I'm out. But I got pulled right back into it. Oh, and the worst part? I was following a toddler. Time to man up. It was finally my turn. And the kid was a natural. I kept trying to go higher and higher until the instructor said, screw it, and took me for a ride. But the best part was when they let me go bananas on my own. Which got out of hand. And when it was done, I no longer had a fear of heights. What the weather in Portland be like? Mini Fruit Ninja. So people are wondering why I've only been putting up reposts and haven't been creating any new content. Wanna know why? What's up? It's crazy, but let me show you. This is why. Our poor little baby got spayed. They shaved her little belly and performed a minor operation. She's on a mountain of medication and is usually pretty out of it. But we've been taking great care of her. Oh, poor baby. We would love it if you left a comment sending PJ your well wishes. And this time next week, we'll have a bunch of brand new content for you. So our puppy is a monster. Ah! Yeah, she is. Right? She's officially destroyed our expensive lighting. Lots of shoes. Power cords. No, 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 no. Of course, the garbage. Beat it. Human fingers. Ow, no. Yep. Penny's neck. Yep. And even her potty pads. Ugh. She used to be so adorable. And I don't know what's happened. Because now she's the devil. <laughs> and this morning when I came downstairs, Penny was looking real freaked out. And it didn't take me long to figure out why. How are you doing that, you crazy demon? The only way I was going to get answers was by setting up a camera and hoping that I caught something on tape. Like and follow for Part two. So a few days ago, I caught another joker stealing our food delivery. But he didn't know that I rigged one of the trash snacks with an Apple AirTag. Hey. I was immediately able to get a lock on their location. And they were moving fast. Which means it was time to go after them. I was closing in fast. Until finally they stopped. And what I found was not what I expected. Nope. The next day, I felt kind of bad about the whole thing. When I had an idea, I ran to the store and got a huge bag of groceries that I was going to give to the food thief. But before I left, I got a notification that the AirTag was right by my house. Uh. And this is what I saw. Okay, so this is right around the... <gasps> There he is. Go here to see what happened. My fiance mashed my Johnson. Oh! I think I had it coming. Mainly because I thought it'd be a good idea to send her this text message. The next day when I was downstairs icing my boys, she came down and said, I got a surprise for you. Go get ready. Not gonna lie. I was a little skeptical, but I decided to go upstairs and get changed. And we headed on out where she treated me to a lovely sushi dinner. Slow down, guy. A little Christmas shopping. And for the final surprise, she said, we're going to see Spider-Man. Yeah. And the movie was amazing and kind of worth the old love tap in the magic sack. I'd say she redeemed herself. And that's because... I'm tired of our house being haunted. And now it's time to fight back. I hung up crosses all around my house, but they kept turning upside down or coming off entirely. This clearly wasn't working. But then I remembered that stashed away upstairs was a bottle of holy water from when we had a priest bless our house. I took the water downstairs when I noticed that another cross had fallen from the wall. And when I went to pick it up, things got worse than ever before. Go here right now to see the end. When something is supposed to be scary but turns out to be funny. Babe, babe, babe. Huh? Impression challenge. Okay. Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Ruth Langmore. If you're a killer, then I'm Snow White and I don't see any seven dwarf around Yelena. here. Yelena. Adlechka, can we throw him out the window now? Shaggy. Like Zoic Scoop. Bart Simpson. I crumble. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So my dogs did something naughty. <laughs>
I was just hanging out when the doorbell rang. And when I went to check it out, there was a random package sitting on my front porch. So I brought it in and asked Penny if she did this, and she said, What's it mean? Okay. When I opened it up, there was a little toy plushie inside. Which sounds exactly like something the puppy would want. Huh? And when I went to see what she was doing, I was surprised to find that she downloaded the app Claw, Which lets you play real-life claw machines for actual prizes. Oh, I'm so gonna get this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't drop it, don't drop it. I won! <laughs> you wanna see what I got? It's a burrito blanket! I want it! So my dogs tried to ruin Father's Day. <laughs> they always seem to be getting into my stuff. Hey! Attempting to bite me. Ow! Or messing with my junk. Oh! I got, I got it. you! Nope. Yes? Yeah, I guess. It's usually pretty easy to spot their tricks. Whoopee cushion, huh? Not gonna fall for that. <laughs> but now I think they're teaming up with Kristen to try and prank me. Oh god, look away! I already exposed one of their tricks. They're gonna have to do better than that. I doubt they will. But what if they do? Wanna find out? Just go here. So the last time I got PJ to talk, you guys loved it. So let's see if we can do it again. What's up there, Poop J? You got any words of wisdom for me today? So this is my friend Les. And a while back, you might remember when I pulled this prank on him. <laughs> Little did I know that he was plotting his revenge by pretending to want to do a photo shoot with me. Watch. Uh, Robbie, put your arm up on the railing. Okay. Yeah. Um, why don't you spread your legs a little bit more? Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah. Look up the stairs. Just try to look regal. All right. That's great. Nice. I like it. Hold that. Here, let me just get down here for a better angle. All right. So my dogs are acting crazy. Uh, my puppy even constructed her own obstacle course. That's impressive. Hey, can I do it? Yeah, I don't think so. You're too big. Plus, I tried, and it didn't work. Oh. But then I had an idea. I could do a virtual obstacle course by downloading the game Wacky Run. You can race this silly hot dog through a bunch of obstacles. <laughs> Whee! What? First place? <laughs> yes! Can I try? So our puppy is a monster. <sighs> she bites. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ow! She likes to bite everything except her Brazilian toys. I think she wants to eat us. Oh god, please don't. I even set up a permanent camera to catch more of her shenanigans. And what I noticed is that she kept going underneath the couch. And upon further investigation, I discovered that the couch was destroyed. But when I took a closer look, I saw some items stashed in the back. Including my favorite hat. Which has been lost and notably absent from all my videos in the last two weeks. But the real question is why and how is she stashing things in there? And the only way I was gonna find out was by placing a camera inside to catch her in the act. Like a follow for part four. PJ's getting really big really fast, so let's see if we can still get her to talk while she's tiny. Poop J, where you at? Oh, oh, hey, there you are. You got anything you want to say today? Hey! Hey, huh? rock, paper, scissors challenge. Winner gets to do the other person's makeup. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Time for the reveal. Here you go. So our puppy is a monster. Ah! Yeah, she is. Right? She's officially destroyed our expensive lighting. Lots of shoes. Power cords. No, 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 no. Of course, the garbage. Beat it. Human fingers. Ow, no. Yep. Penny's neck. Yep. And even her potty pads. Ugh. She used to be so adorable. And I don't know what's happened. Because now she's the devil. <laughs> and this morning when I came downstairs, Penny was looking real freaked out. And it didn't take me long to figure out why. How are you doing that, you crazy demon? The only way I was going to get answers was by setting up a camera and hoping that I caught something on tape. Like and follow for Part two. So I think somebody's watching us. Oh god. Who is? I don't know. But over the last few weeks, I've been seeing some alarming comments on our videos. Huh? At first, I thought it was the kids from the school across the street. Until I noticed a new comment that was left this morning. Saying, I can see you? Which is really concerning because the kids are on spring break. After that, Penny and I spent the next couple hours staring out the window. Oh god, is that him? Nah, just some joker. I was honestly about to give up. Until I noticed this weird looking dude pacing back and forth in front of my house. Whoa, did he just see me? When I peeked back up to take another look, this creeper was heading straight for my front door. Oh my god. Like in follow for part two. Uh, yeah. Someone is stealing our food deliveries again. But this time it's my deluxe spicy crispy chicken sandwich. And there's only one way to fight this. Which is sitting and waiting outside my front door. Boom! After a few minutes, the package showed up right on time. You know it! But just when I thought my sandwich was safe, it was gone. And I realized that thieving was an inside operation. What the huh? But no worries, because I had a backup order. <laughs> I guess we both get to enjoy my McDonald's deluxe spicy crispy chicken sandwiches. So my fiancé left me. But I'm gonna win her back with a huge teddy bear. Can I have it? We'll see how it goes. I delivered the bear to the hotel she was staying. Thank you so Thank much. You. But I wanted to wait outside to make sure she got it. After she grabbed it, she started heading right toward me. And she looked pissed. I had to follow her to see where she was taking it. But just down the street, I saw her putting it on a garbage can. Seriously? I guess it's back to the drawing board. I don't know. Here, Penny, it's all yours. The next day, I was trying to figure out what to do. When I had an idea. But I was going to need some help to pull this one off. Hello? Hey, Kristen left me, and I desperately need your help. Can you come over? Yeah, absolutely. The last thing I had to do was just text her and wait for her to come home. Which is exactly what happened. Hi. What are you guys doing? Like and follow for part four. So I think my fiance's preggers. Bonus. Oh, you're good. I don't know. What I do know is I heard her talking about a gender reveal cannon. We're going to be doing the reveal this weekend. It's going to make sense. When the gender reveal cannon came the next day, I decided to open it. Hey, that is for tomorrow. Walk 
microwave. When reveal day came, the weather was crazy. But we were still gonna do it. She made me get blindfolded in the freezing cold. And this is what happened. Is this the right way? One, two, three. We let you choose our next house. Well done. I held a tournament with four houses. House one and house two made it all the way to the final. Yes, I'm pretty decent house three and mediocre house four didn't make the cut. And after hours of tallying up the final vote, it was finally time to make the call. Hey, what's up, Robbie? Hey, buddy. Go ahead and put an offer on house number two. You got it, buddy. All right, you'll hear back from me when I hear back. And 15 minutes later, this happened. Hey, what's up, Robbie? Got some good news. Your offer was accepted. Seriously? Did we pick your fave? Let me know here. So I built a crazy obstacle course for our puppy. Obstacles? Yeah, in front of the tunnel, I put this barrel roll. Then I finished it off with this super sweet basket ride. Two thumbs up. She made it through the barrel roll in the tunnel, no problem. All that's left to do is jump in the basket and go for a ride. Good job, babe. My woman, tell me what to do. While they were doing that, I was downloading and playing Shortcut Run, where you race other characters and try to build shortcuts all the way to the finish line. My woman, tell me what to do. My turn. Okay. Ba 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 wee. So my fiance is flying to LA and I don't know why. Hmm. What you mean? Well, she said she was going there to meet some friends. So why are you going to LA? I'm going to meet some friends. I told you. Hmm. hmm. Which at first I was cool with until I realized she doesn't have any friends in LA. Oh God, she sees me. I had to ask her who she was going with and she said, Are you meeting in LA? Sophie and Carrie. Okay. But when I went to check her Instagram following, I discovered that she wasn't friends with either a Sophie or a Carrie. That's us. The next morning she was on her way to the airport. Okay. Fun. Now I had to decide. Was I gonna stay here or go after her? And you know I chose go. Like and follow for part two. So my dogs destroyed my car. Check this out. Yeah. Oh! What does it mean? Now did that really happen? No, but they still destroy things. Just ask my cow. And now I've got to go car shopping again. But this time I found Auto Trader, which claims to be easy. Oh, really? And immediately was on the right track. Oh? And a few minutes later I found the winner. Which was perfect for my dog. And to celebrate National Dog Day, they're giving away this awesome keychain. So that Penny will always be connected to my new ride. So I'm leaving my fiance. Deuces. Wait, boy. Well, it started out with a stupid fight about laundry. That usually ends with me apologizing. But not today. I wanted to see if she was willing to fight to get me back. So I packed a bag, set up a hidden camera behind the couch, grabbed my stuff, and peaced out to the hotel that I was staying at. I made my way up to my room, but once I got there, I felt a new sense of freedom. Even did a little celebrating. <laughs> But I wanted to see how she was doing. And it turns out she was having her own celebration. Can you blame her? But not long after that, she appeared to be leaving. Was she coming here? And one hour later, the phone began to ring. Hello? So I left my fiance. Uh, this is... What happened? We got in a fight over laundry. So I set up a hidden camera, put that laundry in a suitcase, and peaced out to a hotel. When I got to my room, I threw myself a party. After dancing, I decided to check my hidden camera. That showed Kristen leaving. And soon after, I got a phone call. Hello? Yeah, I'll be right down. I didn't know what to expect. And when I got down to the lobby, I saw her pacing around out front. But I ignored that and went to the front desk. And was handed a giant stuffed animal. That also came with a note. I went outside to say thank you. But she was already leaving? What? Follow and share for part three. Watch this, guys. So Penny wants to smack me right now. And I don't care. No, I don't. Oh, yeah? It all started when I got this package in the mail. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Hey. Not now. I tore that thing open. Let me see. And sure enough, it was my case to Fi phone case. Huh? And the presentation was just elite. Designing it was soups easy. I just opened the case to Fi app, choose my phone model and grid pattern, and start dropping in your favorite photos. Use promo code 15Robbie. I might be obsessed with this. Hey, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah, you go ahead. I'm just gonna stare at this case. Huh? Oh, yeah, did I mention that it's impact resistant? So my fiance's planning some surprise for hitting 10 million. But what could it be? By the way, thank you to everyone. We honestly couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Thank you. We love and appreciate all of you so much. But now let's get back to the mystery surprise. I tried listening in when she was making the plans. Yeah, it's for 10 million. But totes got caught eavesdropping. Ooh. The next day, I decided to sit down and ask her about it straight up. Hey. What's the surprise? You'll see. We jumped in a car and headed out. But about halfway through the trip, she made me put on a blindfold. I can't see! And only once we arrived, I was allowed to take it off. Okay, stop. You can take it off now. Uh, like and follow for part two. So my fiance is acting sus. Hmm. I tried listening in on her phone call. Yeah, it's for 10 million. But I almost got caught. Whoa, that was close. The next day, she made me get in the car blindfolded until we arrived. You can take it off now. Voodoo Donuts? They made you a special donut to celebrate 10 million followers! What? Voodoo is famous for having some of the craziest donuts in the country. They even threw sprinkles on me! <laughs> but the custom donut that they made me for hitting 10 million was nothing like I expected. I'm on a sugar crash, I That's me! Seriously, Penny? It's still pretty dope, though. <laughs> 
So she lost the diamond in her engagement ring. Yikes! Fix it! I tried fixing it by buying a new one at the jewelry store. But when I got back, she said she found something shiny in the garbage disposal. You better believe I'm not putting my hand on there. Nope. So instead, I took apart the plumbing from underneath. And it turns out there was something shiny in there. Just not a diamond. <laughs> Time to give this back to its owner. He lost this. She couldn't believe it was her nail. I told her to keep looking, but little did she know that I had a surprise for her. When I was out, I bought this. We weren't gonna find that stupid thing anyways. So our puppy is an escape artist. Uh, she's good. Yeah, she is. She's already figured out how to get through our makeshift barriers. But the real mystery is how she escapes her enclosure every morning. Penny? Where'd she go? And every once in a while, she'll decide to pop into our room. But I have no idea how she's doing it. Mainly because when she's in there during the day, she can't seem to escape. Oh, poor baby. I didn't know how she was doing it. But then I had an idea. Right after I put her to bed for the night. In you go, turd Ferguson. I set up a camera to watch her every move. And of course, I've got to put on her favorite channel to keep her company. Classic. All right there, Poop J. I'll be watching you. Now we'll just have to come back tomorrow and see what we find. Like and follow for part two. This is Getting PJ to Talk, round three. Let's go find her. Poop J, I'm coming for you. All right, PJ, what you got for me today? So our puppy is a monster. <sighs> she crazy. Yeah, I know. I think she's out to get us. Oh God, look away. I set up a camera to see what else she was up to. And I noticed her crawling underneath the couch. And when I went to check why, I discovered that all the couch stuffing was gone. Where did it go? The only way I was going to get answers was by placing another camera underneath the couch. Booyah. Then finding something that looks like cushion. And hoping she takes the bait. Ooh, this is similar. Eh, kinda. Now all I had to do was insert my cushion decoy, set up the camera, and wait for the results. I'll be watching you. And a few hours later, this happened. Go here right now to see the end. If I want a real love, if I want a real love, can you fake it? By now, everybody's seen me do Fruit Ninja. Way too much Fruit Ninja. You've even seen my girl try it. But today, I'm going to show you one that you've definitely never seen before. Watch. <laughs> But have you ever wondered what inspired Fruit Ninja? Let me show you. First, you gotta go to my page and download Slice It All, where you take this silly knife through a crazy obstacle course, slicing through all sorts of stuff. Oh god, here's a big one. Can I get it? Oh! Godlike. Who, me? I don't know why. But Penny keeps trying to run away. Hey! Oh, yeah. Why? I'll come downstairs and find PJ all alone. The gate open. And the front door ajar. With absolutely no sign of her. Penny! Last time, PJ found her across the street without a care in the world. This is driving me crazy. Until I found a solution. I got a tractive GPS tracker for dogs that easily snaps right onto your pet's collar. Boop. <laughs> yeah! Now I get a notification from the tractive app anytime Penny's on the move. And sure enough, there she goes. Now comes the hard part. Actually trying to catch this speed demon. Gotcha! No! Yes. Better luck next time. So someone is stealing our food? <laughs> Not from the fridge. Uh? I'm talking about the food deliveries left at our front porch. I even caught one of the thieves on camera and made a valiant attempt to go after him. Hey! Hey! What the hell, man? The next day I had an idea. I took an empty Amazon box, <laughs> wrote a lovely note, attached an air tag to the note, and I was ready to go. I placed my decoy package on the front porch, then set up a camera facing the front door. But as soon as I turned around, I noticed that the box was already gone, and there was no one in sight. I grabbed my phone to start tracking the package, and the initial signal was only two blocks away. Yes! Which means we're going after him. Go here to see if we caught her. It's time for a Valentine's Day prank. My fiance loves sunglasses. And even fake regular glasses. Don't ask me why. So I got her some Soundcore frame with a bunch of style options that have speakers built in, which I'm going to connect to my phone to play fart noises. And she's going to have no idea. Sweetie, hmm. early Valentine's Day gift for you. I know you like glasses. What? She's the only one that can hear this. Is that you? It wasn't me. I'm building a giant box fort for the dogs. Right, Penny? Yep. Yeah. Mainly because our puppy PJ is crazier than ever. And she's not a puppy anymore. So we need to make this thing huge. Which is going to require a ton of boxes. I grabbed a fat stack and carried those things home. Then drew up a blueprint and began the construction process. <laughs> After a few minutes, I was starting to get the hang of it. Thumbs up. And within an hour, I was well on my way. And the dogs seemed to be real excited. This thing had to be precise. But thankfully, we had a mountain of material to work with. Once I found the piece I needed, I was ready to get back to work. But after installing it, I noticed that PJ was missing. Where did she go? Like and follow for part three. 
So our puppy is a monster. <sighs> she crazy. Yeah, I know. I think she's out to get us. Oh, God, look away. I set up a camera to see what else she was up to. And I noticed her crawling underneath the couch. And when I went to check why, I discovered that all the couch stuffing was gone. Where did it go? The only way I was going to get answers was by placing another camera underneath the couch. Booyah. Then finding some sort of couch cushion substitute to trick her into taking. Ooh, this is similar. Eh, kinda. Now all I had to do was insert my cushion decoy, set up the camera, and wait for the results. I'll be watching you. And a few hours later, this happened. Like and follow for part five. Hey guys, so I know we went over this like point nine thing last week and I was like, hey, don't do it, don't do it. But you don't realize we are that close and I actually want to see somebody flip it back and forth. So I'm saying do it, go for it. Good luck. So our dogs destroyed our living room. <laughs> Sorry, Arya. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. So we just got back in town from our trip to Florida. And there was about a half an hour between when our dog sitter left and when we got home. And right away, things were off. You both look guilty. For starters, there was crap everywhere. And the garbage just being consumed. But by far, the worst part was the couch. Which I'm assuming PJ was responsible for. Oh. And when I called our dog sitter to show him the destruction, he couldn't believe it either. Uh. And of course, I had cameras set up all around the house. Hey! And what we discovered was absolutely mind-blowing. So I kicked Kristen out of the house and got her a hotel, but decided to put a hidden camera inside the room, then gave her the key, told her to beat it, and she did. But before she left, I put an air tag in her bag. Once she left the hotel, I sprinted down to the room and proceeded to tear that thing to shreds. Oh, time to go. She was shocked and beelined it to the phone. It is trash. Then hung up and quickly headed to the front desk. Now's my chance. I ran in there and made up the room to look exactly the way it did before. <laughs> then bailed to the lobby right before they came upstairs. It was completely trashed. I don't even know, like, who came in here or what happened. Go here right now to see what happened. My fiance left town for a week, and I'm gonna mess with her. I blocked her account so she couldn't see this, then went to the store to get a few supplies. The only problem is I have a lot of hair, and this looks fake as fudge. I even tried to blend it in with a little makeup, and still no good. But then I had an idea. All I had to do was smother my entire head in shaving cream, and make it look like I was in the process of shaving myself bald. <laughs> the final product turned out amazing. Hey babe, just wanna let you know, I'm getting rid of all of it. And literally two minutes later, she called me. Hey babe! What you think? <laughs> so my life can be kind of crazy. Between our amazing but maniacal dog and our on-again, off-again haunted house, I need to find time to escape to my happy place where my fingers can glisten in the sun from that hot, buttery potato bun. <laughs> that again babe 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 huh i'll give you a hundred dollars if you eat one of these pieces of gum Ooh, i'm not doing it 200 right now now do it okay i'll do it no 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 don't do that <laughs> bad idea so we have a ghost problem <laughs> A ghost crawling on the ceiling problem. I even got a voice recorder and asked the spirit to say hi. And immediately a handprint appeared. When I played it back, I heard a response. And sure enough, more fingerprints. The next day I was going to focus on the cabinets. Because, yeah, I did an initial search and then started making requests. Please move the cabinets. Then things got really out of control. See, look, you can see the handprint. Right Jesus. What the... F Go here to see what happened. So we've got a problem with ghosts. And I grabbed a UV flashlight to help identify them. I waited for darkness to start the search. And right away found footprints on the floor. When I left the room for a minute, things escalated. Literally. New prints went all the way up the ceiling. Which means I was done for the night. Nope. The next day I picked up a voice recorder. So I could ask questions while using the UV light. If someone is here, could you please say hi? Then all of a sudden, a handprint appeared. And when I listened to the tape, this is what I heard. Okay. Here we go. If someone is here, could you please say hi? So last week, I kicked Kristen out of the house and put her in a hotel with a hidden camera. As soon as she left the room, I ran in there and absolutely tore that place apart. She was shocked and quickly ran downstairs to tell the manager, which gave me enough time to completely reset the room. <laughs> when they came back upstairs to survey the damage, she couldn't believe it. I felt kind of bad and decided to make it up to her. I told her to go get ready because I've got a surprise. We arrived at the arena and she asked if we were at a basketball game. Uh -uh. Then she guessed the concert. I don't know. But once the show started, she knew we were seeing Dua Lipa. The show was amazing and Dua looked incredible. We both did a little bit of dancing. Ooh. Watched Dua levitate for real, super close to our seats. And even got scared at the end. But all said and done, I think this totally makes up for my prank. Basketball is back and I'm going to the game. Got my keys? Check. Phone? <laughs> yep. Don't forget my wallet. Whoa, good call. <laughs> On my way to the game. But wait, did I forget my vaccination card? <laughs> but then I remembered, since I got my vaccine at Rite Aid, I'm able to upload my vaccine card straight to the Clear Health Pass. You can even find your favorite stadiums. Or when you get to the arena, just show them your pass and let the fun begin. I am fed up with our house being haunted. And every time something happens, I just get angry. 
So now it's finally time to fight back. I went to the store and picked up the necessary supplies to build some makeshift crucifixes. With the plan to hang them all over the house. But after putting up the first one, things started happening. Right, first one's there, second one's gonna go right here. What was that? Something just completely like blue. Like and follow for part two. Our puppy is still a monster. Ah! Puppy crazy. She's hardly a puppy. More like a crazy teen that still fights with Penny and steals her toys. Yep. There are definitely sweet moments, but then it's right back to Cray. She's even pulling some genius level escape moves, like turning this slinky into a spring for the gate. Truly mind blowing. <gasps> oh, and remember the couch that she destroyed? Because I do. Since going underneath it is no longer an option, she's decided to destroy something more accessible. Ooh, Robbie's getting angry. But today there was a new development in her abilities. Getting on top of the counter. No, 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 no. How is she doing that? So I set up a camera to see if I could catch her in the act. Like and follow for part two. I'm sick of our house being haunted. <laughs> And it's finally time to fight back. Step one was to cover my house with a few things Poltergeist might not like. But after hanging up the first one, it started to move. Followed by a gust of wind by my head. And then things got really physical. <coughs> the next day, I fixed our new wall decoration. And went about the process of hanging up several more. But I still felt like it wasn't enough. And as I was building, this happened. Take your box cutter and just start slicing it. <laughs> So I made my fiance get on a plane without knowing the destination. She doesn't know? Nope. All I told her was to pack a bag for six days and that we might be going to one of the pins on this map. Oh, and I'd love to tell you guys, but that ain't happening. Because I don't trust you in the comments section. But either way, we woke up at 4.30 a.m. this morning. Bags packed and ready to bounce. As soon as we got to the airport, I made her cover her eyes approaching the gate and boarding the plane. And as soon as we sat down, I had her put on headphones so she couldn't hear any of the flight announcements. Can you hear me? Guess not. And five hours later, we arrived. And this is what happened. Oh my god, you have no idea what's in store. Do you know where we're at? Uh, there's palm trees. Are we in Hawaii? So I made my fiance get on a plane without knowing where we were going. That's fun. Isn't it? She closed her eyes at the terminal and put on headphones so she wouldn't hear the flight announcement. And as soon as we landed, she got her first look at the destination. Do you know where we're at? Are we in Hawaii? Nope. Let's go. But as soon as we got to the hotel, the jig was up. Okay, we're here. Grand flirt. <gasps> Are we in Florida? Is that the monorail? Yep. We're at Disney. This place is beyond epic. But I still had one more major surprise. I can't believe we're at Disney. It's not only that, but Disney has arranged some crazy special surprises for us. What? <laughs> so I think our puppy doesn't like to be pet. No pets. No, not all of them. So I'm gonna find out which ones work and which ones don't. Starting with the back scratch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good. Check. Here comes another classic, the belly rub. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Another winner. Bingo. How about the old boop? Mm. Whoa, got some major side eye from that one. Last but not least, everybody's favorite, the butt scratch. Mm. Uh. Fail. Remember when I thought Kristen had the flu? Aww. I do. Yeah, and I went barging into Rite Aid on a mission to find products that would make her feel better. Then like a total champ just threw the products at her. Well, as it turns out, she didn't have the flu. Feeling better? Mm -hmm. But you know what that means? It's time for her to go online and schedule her own flu shot. We don't want you getting sick again. Get moving. But once we got there, she still tried to back out. Not happening. I think it's because she's scared of needles. But it was over in no time. And now we're both protected for the season. Are you? So the other day, I walked downstairs and saw Penny balling out of control. And I was like, what the heck? Give me that. Oh, by the way, I'll take those too. So in my massive state of confusion, I asked her, where did you get this? I downloaded the Blitz app. Oh, snap. Oh, is that the one where you can play fun games and win real prizes? Yep. Now it looks like I'm the one that's balling out of control. Oh, down the shoe. No way I won. Yeah. Make it rain. You gonna share? So by now, I know everybody's seen me do Fruit Ninja. Maybe too much Fruit Ninja. I've even taken you behind the scenes to show you how we did it. But today I'm gonna try to be a real ninja. And after a couple of tries, and a little bit of anger, I finally nailed it. <laughs> We've had a ghost problem ever since we moved in. Oh, hell no. And I'm determined to figure out why. I started by searching haunted locations nearby and found one place that you can literally see from my window. My next idea was to search our apartment, looking for anything that may seem strange or out of place. And it wasn't until I went into my office that I found this storage area that had handprints all over it. The only way I was going to get answers was by going up there myself. And this is what I found. Okay, there's like nothing up here. Whoa, what the hell is this? Oh god, the letter, the letter, help, help, help. <laughs> We've had a ghost problem for over a year, and I think I figured out why. I found this creepy storage area in our apartment, and once I went up there, I discovered this. But as soon as I touched it, the ladder began to shake. I was able to get it under control, but when I brought it down from the attic, the activity shifted to downstairs, and what I walked in on shocked me. Hell no! The next day, my ghost hunting friends came over. I showed them the item and the bells, and this is what happened. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yep, we called it. Called it. This has been going up. Wait, what? Uh, guys? Go here to see what happened. 
So lately, Penny's been saying I look like a zombie. Uh, you have. Yeah, maybe a little. Been kind of going through the motions, completely unaware of my surroundings. It's the game. <gasps> The game. You know, she might be right. Ever since I downloaded State of Survival, The Walking Dead, I've been playing it non-stop. You get to farm resources, build your empire, and the best part, fight against the infected with Daryl himself, using crazy weaponry. Oh, take that. Oh, I won! I've been playing it so much, I'm starting to feel a little... Oh, Please stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Run. So our dogs destroyed our living room. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? Yep. Uh -huh. yep. So we just got back in town from our trip to Florida. And there was about a half an hour between when our dog sitter left and when we got home. And right away, things were off. You both look guilty. For starters, there was crap everywhere. And the garbage just being consumed. But by far the worst part was the couch. Which I'm assuming PJ was responsible for. Oh. And when I called our dog sitter to show him the destruction, he couldn't believe it either. Huh. And of course I had cameras set up all around the house. Hey! And what we discovered was absolutely mind-blowing. Go here to see the footage. Our puppy is a nightmare. Oh, yeah? Oh! You good? Yeah, I think so. Lately, her mission has been getting upstairs to tear up this wall. I set up a couple cameras to catch her in the act. But she took out our first line of surveillance, beelined it upstairs, and tore into the wall even further. When I went to take a closer look, I smelled something horrible and realized that this wall was crudely placed next to our washer and dryer, covering up our water heater. But why? I don't know. There was only one way to find out. Ow! I went full Jake Paul and finally got a glimpse of inside, but grabbed some gloves before reaching my hand in there. And this is what happened. Okay, I got something. Oh, this is heavy. Go here to see the end. Babe. Huh? Impressions challenge. Okay. Harley Quinn. Nothing comes between me and Mr. J. Lilo and Stitch. A Hanuman's family. Crocodile Hunter. Boy, Crikey! Maid Marion. Ew, Robin, I'm so happy. Ariana Grande. Hey. Britney Spears. I think I did it again. Gollum. Stupid hobbitses. Mickey Mouse. Huh? Oh, boy. Lois from Family Guy. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. Oh, oh no! <laughs> So our puppy's back and still a monster. Hey! She's an animal. Yes, yeah, she is. After her surgery, we were hoping that she'd calm down. But we were wrong. She's actually crazier than ever. You know it. Yeah, I do. And so does Penny. PJ's now bigger than Penny. Huh? Stronger than Penny. And finds herself getting in way more trouble than Penny. <clears throat> I wonder where she got that from. <sighs> and yesterday, before taking PJ to the park to film, I went upstairs to grab my keys. But when I came back, the gate was down. And Penny looked kind of concerned. I rushed downstairs hoping to see PJ. But instead, found my worst nightmare. No, 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 no. PJ! So a few weeks ago, we caught some ass clowns stealing our food deliveries. And guess what? They've come back. But I've got a master plan. Boom! I bought a bunch of trash snacks. But for real, who eats these? Then cut open the cakes and inserted an air tag inside. Sealed those puppies up. Hey! Put them back in the bag and headed toward my front door. I gently placed the bait and now my trap was set. And 20 minutes later, the bag was gone. As soon as I noticed, I grabbed my phone to track the package. Oh! Which was only a couple blocks away. Time to go after it. They were moving fast, but I was right behind them. Until finally they stopped. And this is what I saw. What the f- I know everybody's seen me do Fruit Ninja. I've done it on small fruit, even tiny fruit. You've even seen my girl try it. But today I'm gonna try it on my biggest fruit yet. But have you ever wondered what inspired this? Well, let me show you. First, you gotta go to my page and download the game Slice It All. Where you take this spinning blade through a crazy obstacle course. And some of it is so satisfying. God life. Last one for the win. <laughs> Alright, back to fruit business. Here we go. You got this. God life. <laughs> So a lot of people have been wondering why Penny's been missing from our recent videos. Well, let me show you. Our sweet baby's been recovering from a surgery she had about a week ago. Nothing too serious, just a tooth extraction that you can kind of see here. Good girl. PJ's been keeping her big sister company throughout the process. She's on a bunch of medication, but almost 100% healed. And we would love it if you guys sent your well wishes. Who knows, you might even see her this weekend. Thanks, guys. I'm secretly planning our wedding to either Disney or Vegas. I'm telling. Please don't. I blocked her account so she couldn't see this. Then began researching Disney weddings. And right away I almost got caught. But I told her it was her Christmas present. And was forced to buy a trip to Disney. Yay. The next day I was researching Vegas locations when I got a disturbing call from my mom. I saw your last video. You weren't planning on inviting your family. Are you going to fly to Vegas or Disneyland? No. Bye. Well, we have nothing else to talk about. Goodbye. What are you going to do? And right as I was booking the Vegas trip, I realized my mom was not done with me yet. <laughs> now I was left with one option. Hey, babe. There's something I got to tell you. Go here to see the end. So our house is still haunted. Holy sh Hey, watch your mouth. I called an amateur ghost hunter to help diagnose the problem. But I also have a friend that thinks his doll is possessed. So I invited him over too. Ooh. We set up some candles, equipment, and the doll in the center of the kitchen. And this is what happened. On the count of three, light up the candles. One, two, three. Oh! All right, man, I'm sorry to say, but you gotta take that thing and bounce. I'm already haunted. I don't need a demon in here. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Oh, what, what, what? 
So the other day, I walked into my dogs playing some weird game they invented. Where they were rolling dice and pushing toy cars? I didn't get it, but it looked fun, and I asked if I could play. And they said... No. And... No. That sucks, but whatever. I decided to sit down and watch anyway. Then I thought, this game looks really familiar. When it hit me. They must have downloaded the game Dice Push. Which is almost exactly the same. You roll a die to add dudes to your side. Or roll the die on their side to knock their guys out. Once you've got momentum, just double up for the final push. <laughs> Was this your inspiration? No. What about you? Go away. Uh, remember when Penny was trying to get rid of the puppy? Mm, I remember. Of course you do. Where I managed to get footage of Penny locking PJ in the closet. What the? Or the clearly deliberate footage of one dog locking the other dog outside. But what I haven't been able to figure out is how the puppy got stuck in the cupboard. I don't know. So I decided to set up a camera. And create the perfect conditions to make it happen. Yes, sir. And it didn't take long for the puppy to go and take the bait. And as expected, Penny was right behind her. Go here right now to see the end. Did you know that our house was haunted? <laughs> Boom! Cut it out. A few months ago, I caught this creepy shadow figure on camera. But since then, everything's been quiet. I don't know. But recently, strange things have been happening in the kitchen. Like drawers being left open. And unexplained loud noises. Did you hear that? But even all these warning signs couldn't prepare me for what happened last night. Watch. So I was getting the dogs ready for bed when I heard something in the kitchen. <laughs> like and follow for part two. So these princesses got me jealous. Shaking my head. Who's there? Well, we came here with a boatload of creators. Tag anyone you recognize. But if you mean princesses, like all of them. It was princess week and Kristen was loving it. Literally getting attention from every single one. Over and over and over again. Where's my kiss? But the moment that I started getting a little attention. Oh, I got it. <laughs> save that for later. She was not feeling it. Let it go. Huh? What are you looking at? Can I have some? <laughs> this isn't for dogs. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Here I come. Yep. Ah! So Kristen is really sick. Sad face. What she got? Looks like the flu. But how can I fix this? When it hit me. Sit tight, babe. I got you. Where are you going? I'm going to the one place with all the answers. Out of the way, door. I am on a mission to find what I need. Ooh, this looks like the ticket. A little vitamin D. Yep. And how about some sleep immunity? You know it. That ought to do it. Oh, and before I left, I went online and scheduled a flu shot. So I was ready to go the moment I walked in. And about 12 seconds later, I was done. That way I could get home fast to my lady and be the hero.